Thank you very much for being here for my presentation. Uh, the, the title of this presentation is which question should be asked before choosing an API management. Uh, the agenda of, uh, that I will follow, first of all, I will explain what is the API management. I will just take definition from, uh, from Gartner, for example. After that, I will uh, give some concrete questions that you can ask before saying this is the solution that I want. Uh, we will have or we will be subject uh, from different uh, perspective. So we will have uh, enterprise and business strategy. We also have infrastructure and uh, architecture, and uh, finally uh, the API management solution functionalities. Let's start from the beginning. So my name is uh, Najmedin Benoit. So yeah, I was uh, head of API practice, but now I have a new role in the Sphere company, which is a senior staff engineer. So. I have, uh, yeah, you are seeing a lot of uh, uh, certification for, for from Google, but uh, I do other things than, uh, than Google. So yeah, I'm also authorized trainer, meaning that I deliver some um, training session around APIs and also infrastructure architecture. And also I, I'm uh, Kubernetes certified. So as I said, I will uh, just a brief introduction or information about Sphere. So Sphere company is a company, uh, our outlook are uh, around uh, infrastructure uh, modernization, move to cloud uh, development, web and back uh, development, and uh, uh, so many other stuff. So let's start. See, this, this is a short or landscape of uh, Sphere uh, client or customers. So let's start. As I said, I will uh, take the definition from Gartner. So here, uh, the Gartner defined the API management as a set of people, process, and technology that enables an organization to safely and securely, these two uh, things to, to keep in mind, to publish API either internally or externally. Also, it's a common component including API gateway, developer, portal, administrative UI for reporting and analytics. So from this uh, definition, I will get to focus on two parts. The first one is, uh, as I said, it's uh, the main topic of, uh, or the main functionality of an API management is to, uh, to expose uh, APIs or backend APIs, what we call also, externally or internally in a, in a safe manner. The second part of this uh, definition, which is interesting here, we, we find the main component of an API management, and you will see what is the relation with the next with the next slide. So here, when we speak about API management solution, so we will speak uh, about uh, an API gateway, but not only API gateway, because we need to speak about dev portal. We need to speak, to speak about uh, administrative UI for reporting and analytics, and uh, sometimes, and some solution offer to you the possibility to monetize your API. This is two, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two pictures or two studies from Gartner and Forrester in which you will find the, let's say the pure player or uh, the main company that offer very interesting uh, uh, API solution. I don't know if uh, we have person from Gravity. I'm not seeing Gravity here, but uh, also Gravity is one of uh, interesting solution, but uh, maybe next year they will be there. Before starting, as I said, maybe the first question that I will uh, ask uh, my client, uh, what is your uh, API use case? Do you need to have an, uh, an API management solution? Or maybe you are just focusing on uh, a gateway. Maybe also you are searching for a service mesh, or sometimes you can also searching for uh, any pass, uh, uh, something that is more, uh, more complex. So we have next two other questions that can help you to decide or to define what you are searching. The first one could be, who will use your platform? Is it technical person or also business person? Next question also, where, what do you want to do with your API? Do you want to expose it externally or it should be internally to your company? And for that, I will give a brief introduction or in the definition of, uh, of API management 
service mesh, EPAS, and also uh, ser service mesh. So the first thing is uh, API Gateway. Can you use the other mic? Because I want to move, otherwise I will be here. So as you see here in, uh, in this diagram, the API Gateway is, uh, is the main component when you have uh, your architecture, so you will have your backend API, and you want to expose it externally, as I said here, externally, or sometimes internally. So the API Gateway is the, is the component that you can use, this is a product that you can use, to, uh, to expose your API to uh, external user, but you can add also some capabilities of, uh, or some feature of uh, how to secure it or how to manage it. Okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so it's fine with the API Gateway. As I said, the other product that you can use is a, a service mesh. Service mesh is different from API Gateway. And when we speak about service mesh, so we are generally trying to, um, to, uh, to, to, to add some security on your internal APIs so, or your internal service. Here, what you, this, uh, this diagram is from uh, Nginx, where uh, you find the main component of a service mesh. We'll have what we call the service mesh control plan, where we define your security strategy. And after that, we, uh, let's say, we'll have what we call a sidecar. Sidecar is a, is a component that will be deployed behind your service, and it, it will add security uh, features. What's the difference? Yeah, good question. I can, uh, yeah, I can answer it this way. Th the difference is uh, here we will still internally, so we will still inside your company. You can have some other mechanism to expose it externally, but the main topic is especially to, to, to expose your API, to make different services, and when you have a microservice architecture, so it, uh, it lets you manage security in uh, a centric way. can have also integration platform or integration platform doing something else integration platform are platform that um, that let you uh, enable or let you uh, have an experience end to end meaning if you if for example you have a database you have a SaaS application you have a device and you want to uh, make them or create your workflow and make them uh, connected, so you have the possibility to uh, to write uh, in your EPAS way to connect them and uh, write your workflow. So, as I said, the first question was, we, "What is my API use case?" And depending on your use case, you you you, you will find quickly what is the solution that you want to to to, to choose. And now we will focus on. Uh, you said that we are. You want to choose uh, an API management solution, so we will have some perspective. So let's start from business and uh, enterprise strategy. First question uh, that you need uh, to have is, or to ask, is governance. What are the features or what are the capabilities that the solution offer for governance? What, what I mean by governance, observability, monitoring from the business perspective, meaning I, can, I need to have an idea about how many uh, API consumers are using my API for them. You also need to have, uh, or your API management sh should give you uh, or features offered to the developer and the API consumer. What I mean by developer is the API consumer. And you can, you need to have some way or some mechanism to, to let your developers discover your, your API, for example, a dev portal. And you also need to have a mechanism to let them, uh, or in, let them choose what they want to consume as API, what we call a self-services. So self-services is, is a way or a value that you can offer or, or a benefit that you can offer to your consumers to, to have access to an API without any human uh, interaction. 
And the last one is also the API provider. Don't forget the API provider. The API provider are person or the, what you call also the backend uh, API. So person who will publish their API through the API management. So you need to think about API publishment and also KPIs. KPIs, here what I mean by KPIs, all information that API producer can have about latency, about errors, when connect the, the API. First uh, things that I want to, uh, to notice here, the API lifecycle. When you choose also your API management solution, think about API's lifecycle. Here it's uh, an example of API lifecycle. You can find other steps, but here I'm mentioned by, uh, or what I highlight here, design, development, secure, publish, scale, monitor, and analyze, and also monetize. So you need one uh, from the business perspective, you need to have question around all these steps. Especially when you speak about security and scalability, you need to have question about how my API management let me deal with IAM and Airbag. How can I, for example, I give access to my API management solution internally or also the user of my API. Also how uh, the solution can uh, be integrated with my IDP. If I have an IDP, how can I integrate it to it? You can also ask question about horizontal and vertical scalabilities. Is this solution also offer the portal integrated one or not? And the last thing here is the API as a product concept, meaning that uh, did the platform meet my strategy or I, is it possible for me as a business to have the possibility to create API product? API product, it's not, it's not just I have a proxy, I will export it as a product. So sometimes we can find other situation when I want to combine three, four, or N uh, proxy to have, uh, to, to create what I call a, a product. Now we will move to architecture or uh, infrastructure questions. First question that you need to ask before starting to choose an API management solution is, what is my current infrastructure? Um, excuse me, oh, what is my current infrastructure? Where my backend API are? If they are in cloud, if they are in, in one cloud provider, in multi-cloud, or sometimes in on-prem. Also, you need to, uh, to ask question, are you uh, cloud friendly or not? Meaning that uh, if, you are, uh, if you want to steal on-prem, if you are on-prem, or you want to, to move to another cloud provider. Are you multi-cloud? Sometimes some customers are in one cloud provider and they don't want to move to another cloud. So this is also a question that you need to ask. Also, you need to uh, evaluate the, uh, the deployment and operation capabilities to target APM solution, meaning if you are in SaaS or if you need, or if you want to have your, uh, for hybrid, for example, solution, you, do, you want to have the infrastructure or the runtime on your company, are you uh, have, or, or do you have the, uh, the resource necessary for that? And especially for tech, for tech person, be curious. Try to, uh, to ask question about what is behind the scene. What the technology or what the product is using. Is it contain, are they using containers? They have uh, uh, APIs or not? What about scalabilities? And what about uh, eye availability? Also, when we speak about uh, deployment, the, for me, one of most important uh, question is CI/CD. Is, uh, is there any, if I choose, for example, to deploy the solution on, uh, uh, on, on prem, is there any possibility to, uh, to automate all deployment, for example? If it, it, it's not the SaaS solution that I uh, showed. Also, you have another question. What about communities? Is there a great communities? If I have a question, if I have technical question about the solution, is there any, uh, any community? Is there any open source community that can help me if I, if I have a problem? Also, 
you can ask questions about technical support provided by the, by, the, by the product and also SLA. And great question, and what about security? One thing that you need to ask is, um, did the solution allow private connectivity, for example, if I, I want to expose my API externally? Meaning that from the API management solution to my backends, can I communicate privately or not? Can I also isolate some, uh, isolate some APIs? Meaning for some APIs, I decide that this API are not exposed externally. So it's something that is possible or not. My API solution, my API solution support TLS, MTLS, or, or OS. This is, for this question, I think the majority of solution su support it. But also, what about DDoS attack? Is there any mechanism that, uh, uh, that offered by the solution to protect me against this, this, uh, this attack? Audit logs and logs, how to do with audit logs? How can I extract audit lo logs and from, from the solution? Can I export them to, to another solution or not? Traffic management also, how can I deal with traffic? Can I block, for example, some, some specific adre uh, IP address or not? Uh, and also, if, uh, if I'm choosing a SaaS solution, can I mask some information, for example, the personal, uh, personal information when they are in lux. Now we move to uh, the last part of uh, question that you need to ask is uh, API management solution functionalities. So when we speak about functionality, try to have question about security. How can I secure APIs exposed through my solution? How can I cache for, is there any uh, mechanism for caching? Is there also any mechanism for traffic management? For example, I want to uh, have a quota per product, per API product, per consumer. Is it possible or not? Can I uh, also uh, do some mediation or orchestration? Is something possible or not? Can I also have a mechanism of templating and uh, reuse? Can I create a generic, for example, uh, template that I can use for uh, one or more APIs that expose ex uh, through my, through my uh, API uh, management solution? And uh, last things, what about code and configuration? You, you need to, to ask, when I use an API management solution, uh, my developers will configure this solution to expose other APIs. So you need to know what are what language are used. Is uh, uh, Java, JavaScript, or or in-house uh, or let's say a specific language that I knew uh, that I need to to learn. Is there any out of the box functionality? Meaning that uh, you know for for security uh, we will all we will always do the same thing. For example, check for the API key, check for or validate a JOT token. So this functionality maybe could be uh, out of the box functionality that I can use without any extra development from my side. Uh, is there any possibility to, uh, to, uh, to make more things if uh, I don't find in uh, the out of the box functionality a, s uh, a specific things that I want to do? Uh, is there any possibility to have, or to, to have uh, a code that I will develop it for my need. Interoperability is uh, the API management solution offer, for example, APIs to use it. And uh, the last thing, uh, certainly you need to, to, to ask question is uh, the code produced and the configuration are CICD friendly. Is there any way to put it them in CICD pipelines and uh, can automatically uh, have uh, automated pipelines uh, using uh, using. Yeah.